What's up guys, Shane here, Fugadec 3D Printing, and today I'm going to show you the filament mod that I found for the Cube 3. That way you can print with any filament you want to. So welcome back guys. Again, I am super duper excited because I finally found a way to get the Cubify slash 3D Systems Cube 3 3D printer to print with any filament. So you can see here, I have a spool on here. Now this is their spool and this is their filament, but I have things modified a bit so that I could swap this out with any other filament, feed it in and it'll start printing. Now I will say I'm not done with all the modifications to this printer. I'm working on another way to feed the filament into these hot ends, into these different nozzles that they have. I'm not liking the way they have it and the way I have this kind of jerry-rigged right now, it's not very clean, it doesn't look really nice and I want to get a nice clean look. Either way, I have to have the filament side facing so it's going to be perpendicular to the printer. That's just the nature of the beast with this because I can't find a way to do it without re-spooling the filament onto their spools which look like this and then reclosing it and doing all that. That's just way too much work. I just want to take a spool hatch box, set it down, feed it in and tell it to start printing. That's really all I'm looking to do here. And these other modifications that I'm doing will help get us there, but that's gonna be a totally different video. This video, I'm just gonna show you what you need to do, where you need to go online, download the files that you need, update the firmware on this, and that way it doesn't change the chip that comes on every one of these spools. Okay, so here is the back of an empty spool. This is actually a spool that I completely used up trying to figure out different modifications and what I could do with this printer and I end up using it all up. And this right here is a little, I believe it's an NFC chip that tells the printer how much filament is left on the spool because it knows how much was originally put on there. Now this is the chip we have to defeat because on here there's a little reader that reads, there's little contacts on here that read what it is, so it tells it that this one was a, the red PLA, actually, so this was for this here, but I obviously running it differently now. And it tells it the color, it tells it the type of material, it's ABS or PLA, and it tells it how much is originally on the spool and how much is left over when you finish printing it. And that really sucks because once you finish, guess what, you're done. This spool is now garbage. I literally kept it just so I could do this video. This one's actually, again, it's empty, it's useless, even though I have red left over because I was using this when I was testing out other filaments. All those prints that I did on this printer back in October for the Halloween when I printed all those uh, little skulls, the uh, pumpkin skulls, were printed on this printer using this and eventually it did run out. So again, that really sucked. I tried swapping different firmwares but it ended up coming to a firmware modification and all it does as far as I can tell is it just says, hey, stop updating this chip. So before we get started anything, let's get rid of you know the disclaimer here. I did not come up with this modification, hack, whatever you want to call it. I simply found it online by constant searching all the time. There's a few people out there that created this modification and they have it hosted on a form which you can go to, links will be down below and I'll show you in the video how to go to the forms, download the modifications that you need, update the firmware, send it to the printer and then have it be ready to roll with the new filament. So again, I did not create this. This voids any warranty, if there's even any left. Again, this printer is EOL, end of life. They no longer support it, they only sell the filament for it. They want nothing to do with it. They are gone out of the consumer 3D printer market. You can pick these printers up for so cheap because of that. So let's go to the computer, let's check things out, and then we'll come back, recap, and you guys will be off to the races. All right guys, so here we are. We're on the, the print 3D form. You know, we're gonna go to form, 3D printers, cube three, and the very top sticky thread is this cube three filament software, hack is here. It's a great little tool. Uh, they go through a lot of great steps in here. I'm gonna run it through with you guys super quick here. So they're telling you here, you need to download the firmware. This is actually the official firmware that you're gonna download if you already are running it and you have a copy of it, great. If not, go ahead and download it and get a new fresh copy of it. Then you're gonna go ahead and get the latest copy here of their Cube Toolbox version 1.0. As of this video on April 14th, that is the current version. And again, it's real simple here. So you download the toolbox, you're gonna to download the official firmware, and then we're gonna open it up, patch the firmware, copy the patch of firmware onto the USB stick, and then go ahead and update the firmware. That simple, six easy steps. Okay, so once you guys have everything downloaded, you should have the Cube 3 firmware and the Cube Toolbox. Open up Cube Toolbox, and get the pop-up, and we're just gonna pull that into our folder here. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the firmware here. Pull that into the folder, close that out. Okay, now let's open up the Cube Toolbox. 
fine. All right. So, open firmware right there in our cube three. Open that up, and here's going to tell us our firmware version. That's great. Now, what this is going to do is we're going to hit patch firmware. It's going to create a dot original file, which is going to be the original firmware, and then it's going to rename the new one to be the same as the cube version 1.14b.ar. So, patch firmware, successful. Look at that, it took a second. That's done. You can close this out now. But if you want to look here, you can open the firmware up itself and take a look at all of this information if it means anything to you. And you can compile new firmware if you are so inclined and able to. That's not me. We're just going to use this as it is. All right, so now we need to go ahead and insert a thumb drive, which the Cube 3 comes with a 3D Systems Cubify little thumb drive. Go ahead and slip that in, and we're going to put the firmware on it. Okay, on the left is my folder. On the right is the USB drive. We're just going to copy over the firmware again, not the dot original, because that is the original one from Cubify. We're going to copy over the modified version. And there it is on it. Now let's go to the printer and get this thing installed. Hi right, guys, here comes the easy part. All you got to do, turn on your printer. All right, and we're going to go right here to settings. And then we're going to hit over. Okay, once we're here, we're going to go ahead and hit firmware. And we're going to hit it via USB. And away it's going to go once we hit the check mark. Okay, so now it's going to flash that new firmware that we just created on this machine. And once it's done, you can then print with whatever filament you want to. I say whatever filament you want to. This updates it. It's still going to vary because you can only print pre-LA or ABS with this right now. Uh, there is no current other fixes to add it so that you can print like PETG because it's still going to read the type of filament from the actual spool. It just doesn't care how much is on it anymore. So that way you can do some of the modifications that I have coming up and easily spool any filament you want onto it. All right, guys, and that's all it takes. It really doesn't take much to get this thing printing with any kind of filament you want. It's a super great thing. I'm so happy that someone finally found out how to do it. Now I can really put this thing to work, get two different colors on here, and get some awesome dual color prints going. Now again, I said you can pick this printer up super duper cheap. I'd say you can get sometimes for less than $100 on eBay, the US eBay. I picked this one up, I think this one ended up getting me $140, so it was $100 plus $40 shipping. The shipping usually is a lot on these, so be careful of that. Some people are charging up to $100 in shipping, so be careful who you're buying from. But again, around 100 bucks, you can pick up this printer. It's dual colored printing for $100, guys. Honestly, show me something that can beat that. And the quality on this printer actually is pretty good for 100 bucks. Like, this originally retailed for almost $1,000, I think it was, or it was $99.9. It was the original retail price of this printer. That's crazy. But 100 bucks, hey, I think I can sweat 100 bucks to get this going. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There are a ton more videos to come with this printer. I'm gonna do some print videos. I'm gonna do an overall review here real soon on pre-modification and post-modification. I'm gonna do videos on how to actually modify these cartridges to accept other filaments to make your life a little bit easier, easier way to mark them, uh, redoing the tube system that's in here because it's actually using a 1.75 inner diameter three millimeter outer diameter PTFE tubing, which makes it super duper thin. It's just over a millimeter thick on both sides together. So it's half a millimeter thick on one side, which is just, you know, craziness. I'm gonna show you a way to go ahead and modify this to use a standard 1.75 four millimeter filament, a little bit more rigid. It doesn't hide it as well, but it'll be better in the long run because these things are not very good. I think they need to be replaced. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy that. I think you will, but you know what? You know, this is cool and all, but what if you don't have one of these printers? You know what? I'm gonna hook you guys up. And to hook you guys up, I have another Cube 3 printer here I'm gonna give away. So, you know what? When I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm gonna give this away. I've had this thing for a while. I ended up getting two of them for some stupid reason because I'm an idiot. I'm just gonna give this one away. So, get your subscriptions in. You can have a chance to win this 3D printer. And that's it, guys. Hope you liked the surprise. It's gonna be fun. I hope you really can do this with your printer. Get it printing. I'd love to see some prints. I'd love to know if this is working out for you or what isn't. Again, the support form, everything you need is gonna be down below. You don't have to watch this. You can just go down below, do all the things you need to do, and get printing with it. 
If you guys like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't hit the dislike button, let me know down below. Do you agree with what some people have done with this or not? I'd love to hear from you. You want to support the channel? Biggest way and the best way to do it is subscribe down below. That gives you a chance to win this printer whenever I get to 2,000 subscribers. If you want to help me out financially in order to fund me doing videos like this, you can hit me up on Patreon. Donate me a dollar more. Greatly appreciate current Patreons. You guys are awesome. If you don't want to help me out with any of your money, go down below. There's going to be some affiliate links. Update your bookmarks with those. Do some shopping. Again, all of that comes here to help out me make content, get things for the channel, buy another printer to give away to somebody you know it, it all ends up helping out so any way you guys want to do it even if it's just watching the video i appreciate you coming here and as always guys happy printing